Uranus and Aries. Now, Uranus represents unique, originality, rebellious, change, humanitarian. Now, when you have this in Aries, take those characteristics and put it towards yourself, aka, which means Aries represents initiating new ways on how to feel and see. Uranus is basically dealing with Aquarian like energies, and that's basically re representing a uh, fixed air, fixating their own way of thinking and communicating. And of course, you also got the other side of Saturn that's backing that up, which is initiating new ways on how to think and be practical. Now, when you got Uranus and Aries, <clears throat> this is someone that's already basically accumulating even more energies of being unique, being themselves, and coming up with new ways on how to be a pioneer, coming up with new ways on how to create, coming up with new ways on how to um, go after that stake. And of course, they can be very rebellious and they have their own way of doing things and they have their own way of expressing themselves and they have their own ways of focusing on themselves. And of course, coming up with their own new horizons, aiming for the top and not basically aiming for the lowest perspective. These people are very um, determined. These people are very um, strong. And of course, we already had that position where Uranus was in the Aries, of course. That's basically dealing with our personality. So Uranus wants us to change our personality, go after things, be unique, be your, be original. And of course, have self-defense, protect yourself. Being that it's in Uranus and Taurus now, which is a fool's head, it's going to be a whole lot of ups and downs. But when we have Uranus and Aries, for me, this is getting yourself together. For me, wherever Uranus goes, it travels, it's, it's basically telling you to be more unique here. Be more rebellious here. Learn how to accept change here. Learn how to go through changes here. Learn how to push forward here. Feel me? And that's dealing with your persona. Or how you express yourself. How you present yourself out there in the public arena. And of course, this is a sextile, which is opportunities for you to take charge on your opportunities, on your goals, your personal goals, where you're trying to manifest in life. You're not really too keen or oriented when it comes to um, groups and shit. Everybody, this is the time where you're supposed to basically get just shit right and, and basically assert yourself down here. This is like a pretty much a competitive state, a competitive goal right here, right here. When we talk about this Uranus and Aries, everybody's going to be competing. Everybody's going to be scrambling. Everybody's going to be basically going after the piece of cake. Everybody's going to basically be dealing with Hunger Games. But of course, this is the more advanced Hunger Games. This is the more persona of, okay, if we don't get this shit, then we, it's going to be very hard for us to basically get right when it comes to Uranus and Taurus. So this is the time where we lay it all on the line. This is the time that we go after ourselves. We can be very impatient <clears throat> when we got Uranus and Aries here. <coughs> patience takes away your um strive for freedom so when you got uranus and in, in, uh aries this is freedom of personality freedom of self feel me this is just, just you being you during this time feel me having your own way of looking at things yeah you may be very um against yeah you could you can also be very against um motherfucking um what's the word you can be against authority you can have your own way of breaking the rules you can have your own way of going against things and of course this is the persona that you need to utilize. And this is also dealing with the 2010 aspect. This is the time to basically change and switch things up. Do things in your own way, feel me? Fuck what society say. Fuck what, um, you a person, you don't like to follow the rules. You create your own rules. You create your own um, limitations. You create your own restrictions. You create your own moderation. You don't really follow what the hell I'm saying, feel me? You may be a type of person, you may not even read what the fucking um, details say, feel me? You're, like, you're the type of person, feel me? You, you have a very... Um, humanitarian mind a humanitarian outlook on things for me you just basically worrying about how you can express yourself and how you can save the world how you can come up with new ways <clears throat> on how to um deal with society new ways on how to save humanity utilizing yourself utilizing your passion utilizing your goals your motivation your determination this is how you basically constructing yourself out there in the world for me you're not really with a group for me if uranus is in the aquarius that would have been different you read this as an Aries. You got to present yourself. You got to basically teach and tell us what you know. You got to basically put your mark out there. You got to basically put yourself out there in, the, in that arena. You got to express yourself. You got to express your fire in a unique way. In a unique way. You got to make sure your fire is touching the air, touching the um the highest spectrum, the sky. Make sure it's connecting with people's minds. Make sure it's connecting with people visualizations make sure it's connecting with people um prior progressions make sure it's connecting with people ways of seeing things and being more practical being more stable and basically finding a, a basis where they can basically come up with a new way of being practical with they self and also these are good people too because you know this is basically helping this person to see <clears throat> a reflection of them and seeing and knowing that they can basically utilize their visions to be in those shoes or higher or actually at least getting there to that perspective but of course, when you got Uranus in the uh, Aries, you're going to go through a whole lot of changes when it comes to your personality.
the way you express yourself, the way you put yourself out there in the open arena, the way you present yourself. And also this, this is going to grant you good fortune too. If you could basically act out in these energies and utilize these energies and basically acting in nature and being yourself. Uranus, and when Uranus is an average, you have to be yourself. It's telling you to be your own way. Think outside the box. Express yourself outside the box. Get outside the box. Go after that shit. Do things that you wouldn't normally do. Go against the rules. Feel me? Uranus is going to have your back. Don't worry about that shit. And once you believe in universal law and your way of presenting that shit, you will be Gucci. And that's basically Uranus and Aries. But of course, these videos are short. I want them to be longer. But of course, these things is fucking up my um, length.